Hi guys, um, I'm at work and I'm on lunch. So I thought that maybe it would be fun to try something different. I wanted to go over um, what I did on Veterans Day, all the places that I went and where I didn't go. Um, so I'm eating lunch and I thought that I would just talk to you guys. So usually when I bring my lunch to work, I have, this is what I have. I have this salad. Uh, we buy it at Aldi and it's one and a half servings in here, but I eat the whole thing because that's my lunch. And then I use this dressing. Um, it's available at Whole Foods. I don't know if it's available anywhere else, but it's oil free and I do believe it's vegan. So um, I like to eat. It's my favorite. I try not to eat like um, animal products that much, so that dressing is really good. So basically I just pour my <laughs> dressing, I eat out of here, and I just pour my dressing on here and chow down. Usually I'm watching videos or something, but I don't like a lot of dressing and because this is, this is a brand new bottle, so it's kind of clumpy, but... Um, and I just keep this at work. We have a little refrigerator by um, where I sit, and so I just keep that there so that I don't have to worry about bringing it back and forth every day. So the first place that uh, we went for Veterans Day was Wendy's. Um, no, sorry, we went to Ikea first and I got my gift card, which was $5 this year. Um, like I said on my short that it, I got $20 last year, um, but you know, free money is free money. So I was happy about that. So we didn't eat at Ikea right then because they open at 10, but the restaurant doesn't open until 11. So we just um, went to Wendy's and it was a free uh, breakfast meal and my son picked I should have taken pictures of all this stuff, but I didn't. I'm sorry. Um, my son picked the Baconator breakfast combo. I don't know. It was like a burger because a bird had a sausage patty on it. So he was pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, and like I said, my husband got my daughter Chick-fil-A. And then after we left Wendy's, we went to Dunkin' Donuts and picked up my free donut. Um, vanilla cream donuts are my favorite at Dunkin Donuts, but they didn't have any, they were out. So I picked the cookie butter donut and it was not good. I would definitely not get it again. Um, but, uh, it was like a maple donut. It really didn't taste like cookie butter at all. I love cookie butter. I get the, um, cookies from Trader Joe's when my husband gets them for me. The cookie butter sandwich cookies. Oh, they're so good. Um, so then we went to Little Caesars because this was all like in a, the immediate area of each other, like less than a mile apart for all these places. Uh, Little Caesars had a free lunch combo, um, which was their new Detroit style pizza, I think. It was like a thick, thick crust and a drink. Well, they didn't have any diet soda, so we got a bottle of water and we were the first people to get inside when they opened and she just handed me the box of pizza they just had a stack of them so that was awesome but unfortunately when i got to the car there um i saw there was pepperoni on it so i couldn't eat it because i don't eat meat and so my husband and son ate it which they were really happy about and then we went to Krispy cream and we got a free donut and coffee. Like I said in my short, I am, you were supposed to only get a hot coffee, but the guy made me a nice coffee, which was nice. And we did go, to, we did go to, um, back to Ikea after we got the pizza, actually before Krispy Kreme, <laughs> we went back to Ikea and ate because I get the um, the plant balls, 
the plant balls, I think is what they're called, the meal, because it's, it's just basically, it's the same mashed potatoes and the same gravy, same green beans, and then the lingonberries, all the same. It's just the meatballs are vegetarian. So, and they taste the same to me. They're really good. And then we went to the outlet mall, which is right around the corner, basically, from Ikea. And they were having an event. So I got a challenge coin, which I showed on one of my shorts. And we didn't win in the, we didn't win the giveaways, but they have like, you know, little flag lapel pen, pins and, you know, little flags and stuff like that. And there was a Starbucks there at the outlet mall. So I got my free coffee. And I guess usually they only do hot coffee, but this year they, they decided to do cold like iced coffee as well so i got an iced coffee because it was it was really humid on veterans day and it was in the 70s so iced coffee was definitely needed um then we went to Krispy Kreme and got the donut and coffee then we went to <laughs> then we went to 7-eleven and got the hot dog um the free hot dog which my husband ate the chili and cheese hot dog and we got my daughter a Slurpee um, because she loves Slurpees. And my son got a bottle of orange juice or something like that. Um, and then Dairy Queen, we went to Dairy Queen because they had um, free medium blizzard uh, for veterans, which I thought that was like, that's a really nice size free thing. So, um, I got I just ice cream with sprinkles, but my son got the Oreo hot cocoa blizzard um, for the medium blizzard, and he really liked it. Um, right across the way from the Dairy Queen that we went to was a duck donuts. I don't know if you guys have duck donuts where you live, but they make the donuts fresh right there. They're cake donuts. They're really good. And... Um, we got a free donut there, which I let my daughter have because she's very picky and she hadn't had many things, many sh shared things um, for Veterans Day. So um, then we went to the exchange and I used my one of my scratchers from the Navy Exchange and um, saved 5%, but it's better than no savings at all. And just picked up some stuff that we needed and then went home and uh, took care of our animals and stuff. And then we went to California Pizza Kitchen and it was pretty early. We started our day early because I mean, running around the whole day, which is pretty much what we did. Um, we didn't leave the house until like nine, I think a little after nine. And I was exhausted by the time we were we were going to go eat dinner. And it was probably around five-ish when we got there. We didn't have to wait for a seat, which was awesome. Because usually on Veterans Day, we have to wait for a little bit. Um, it was pretty crazy in there. <laughs> I think you might have been able to pick up the meals. I'm not entirely sure. But um, we, ate, we ate inside. And one thing I really like about... California Pizza Kitchen is that it does say on their special Veterans Day menu that you can't substitute anything, but they, since I stopped eating meat, they substitute their um, plant-based chicken on any of the chicken things that are on their special menu. So I got a barbecue chicken salad, I think, and it was really good. It has corn and black beans and cilantro. I love cilantro. So, um, yeah, that's what I had there with the plant-based chicken, which was, you know, really nice. And that's all that we did. <laughs> that was a lot. Um, I know it sounds like we just ate all day long, but there were breaks. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> we looked around when we were at the outlet mall. We looked around Ikea, you know, those kinds of things. I don't know how people eat and talk to do videos like this, but we'll see. 
today, it's the 14th, Golden Corral is doing a free meal and drink for veterans. It starts at five till close. If anyone has any Golden Corrals near you, you might wanna like take advantage of that. Oh, and something else. So Burger King actually also did a, um, a free Whopper through the app. You had to put in your DODID number and you got a coupon like in the app for a free Whopper through the 14th, I think, like something like that. So we got that yesterday and my husband and son <laughs> split it because I don't really like Burger King. Um, they do have the plant-based burger, which is the only place that does, but they're always just pretty dry. I've only had a good one one time. And so I'm kind of, you know, leery of ordering another one. And then, so where we didn't go, we didn't go to um, Texas Roadhouse because we were, you know, where we were planning on it after Krispy Kreme, it's just around the way. And the line, <laughs> the traffic was terrible. And at first we didn't understand why, but then we realized it was for Texas Roadhouse. So we decided it wasn't worth it because it was at least a mile long, probably longer than that. It wasn't worth it to me to wait all that time to get a coupon for a free meal. I mean, there was a lot of people waiting, so obviously, you know, they thought it was worth it. Um, we didn't go to Freddy's to get the coupon for the free meal. Like I said, we were tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I just wanted to go home and lay down by the time we finished dinner and it was still pretty early in the day. Like it was probably around, not even seven yet, probably because it was still light outside a little bit. So I don't know, we were just tired. I encourage all the veterans and, and anyone that can take advantage of these free things to do that. And if you um, are a veteran, even if you don't live in an area where there's military, a lot of stores do veteran discounts. Some of them are only active duty discounts, but you'd be surprised. It's always a good thing to ask if there's a discount because it's not going to hurt anything. And, you know, the worst that's going to happen is they're going to say no. And that's it. But, um, yeah, so I feel like I can't eat my lunch that well <laughs> when I'm talking to the camera. Um, I'm just trying this to see maybe people want to see this kind of video. I don't know if you guys like this kind of video. Not necessarily with me eating, but with me talking about this kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps. <laughs> I remembered that we also went to Charlie's Cheesesteaks at some point throughout the day and they had free gourmet fries for veterans and active duty and um, retirees. I just also wanted to let you guys know. So this is one of the bags that I got from Home Goods, TJ Maxx. And I told you guys that I like to use it for my lunch because if you look, the salad container fits perfectly in here. Um, I haven't really seen too many lunch, like lunch bags that, that would hold it. And this is a canvas and I, the inside's like plastic coated, I feel like. So um, I have a an Easter one and then this uh, Halloween one and I'm hoping to get a Christmas one. I don't know if they're gonna have Christmas bags, but. I have got my eye out for them. <laughs>